Hi everyone! So today's video it's going to be about um, Primark makeup. Uh, does it work? Does it not work? Uh, does it work uh, to be bought? And this such a thing it's the final look uh, that I've come up with. Um, so if you wanted to see if the Primark uh, makeup it's worth it, stay tuned to watch it. So the first thing that, I, that we're going to try here is this um, foundation, Flawless Face. Uh, and I heard a lot of good things about this foundation and I really wanted to try out. And I know they say uh, it's a dupe, at least Kate from Kate Beauty Station um, said that was a dupe for a high-end foundation. Uh, I don't know that because I don't own the high-end foundation, but after she said that, I um, really wanted to try. This one says that it's medium coverage, semi-matte finish in oil-free formula with vitamin E. And I really think that being oil-free, it's really uh, good. Um, my I picked the color Ivory. Uh, and what I'm going to do to test it out is I'm going to do half of my face uh, with my beauty blender and the other half with the normal brush uh, just so we can see uh, if it's um, better with one or with the other I don't like the, the kind of the applicator you know because I like the um, foundations with a pump On this half of the face, I'm going to uh, put with a brush. I think it blends really nicely. And now on this half, I'm just going to use my Dent Beauty Blender. It blends really nicely too. Um, I think that the coverage is like equal, you know, maybe a little bit more coverage with the Beauty Blender. I'm just going to put a little bit more just so uh, we can see if it's buildable or not. And I think it's um, buildable and it's not going to be like patchy or anything like that and I think it's um, really how they um, say like medium coverage but it's not like with one layer you have to put like two layers foundation it was three euros and fifty cents okay so the concealer that I bought was this one and this is Illuminating Concealer. Oh. Uh, the color, I think it's pretty good. I, I forgot to tell you this, but the color uh, of the foundation was really cool. Uh, and I think it's really my color, so I think I nail it there. So as I did before uh, with the foundation, this side I'm going to do with a uh, concealer brush. And this side I'm going to do with a beauty blender. Uh, just to see if there's any difference um, with the applicator. So I'm going to take this uh, Zoeva Concealer Brush 142. The concealer was um, 3 euros. And you know what? <laughs> this concealer is pretty good, to be honest. Not um, high coverage, but I think uh, medium high. So in this side, I'm just going to try with the beauty blender. I think the beauty blender works better uh, than the brush and it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's going to crease uh, with the beauty blender to be honest but I, I feel like on this side with the brush um, I feel like it's going to crease a little bit and now to powder my face I bought this pressed powder and I thought that I have a lot of loose 
uh, powders. It's just like this. It has a mirror and it has a sponge and then here is the product. And it's called Light Lumiere. Two euros and fifty cents. Let's just going to take a big fluffy brush. I think it did a really good job. It didn't. I mean, from right now, it didn't crease anywhere. Uh, now for the face. Um, I actually didn't buy something um, new because in my last video I did um, my last video was about these two palettes um, that has blush, blush contour and uh, highlight and I thought that I had uh, bought this not so long ago so I might as well use it so I'm going to start doing this I'm going to use the contour shade on the Havana palette and this one I already know I like it For the ones of you that haven't seen um, my last video and want to know my opinion on this um, palette, face palettes of Primark, then go see my last video. Okay, and the blush I'm going to use, it's this one here. Now for the highlight, I think I'm going to start with Aiden. This is like a pink. I don't really know if you guys can see it, but it's this kind of a pinky color. Uh, it doesn't do a lot with a brush. I'm going to try to do this with my finger. It gives a little bit of glow. I don't think nothing that much. On top of that, what I'm going to use, it's this glimmer one that is like a gold. Yeah, this one it's a little bit more pigmented. So highlight, it's done. And now I'm going to pass to um, my eyes and eyebrows. I didn't find anything for my eyebrows, to be honest. Um, I kind of looked, but... It, it, it didn't, I didn't see anything, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this Catrice um, Eyebrow Gel. So, for the eyes, uh, I didn't uh, bought a palette. For the simple fact that um, all their palettes, it's shimmer. You know, I didn't find a palette that I had like shimmers and mattes. And I thought to myself that I am not going to kind of uh, give money for something that I don't like and I'm not really going to use. So they had uh, this, um, uh, this cream eyeshadows and they had like a um, brown one, a beige one and I, got, I already have this color. So I seen I've seen this one and it doesn't have a name and it's like this pearly green. Loved it. And it was only two uh, euros. So I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit. It drags a little. I think that the color it's amazing, but I think that. It drags. So I think I just have to wait for this to dry. I'm back and <laughs> we're going to try um, to blend this color with the contour um, shade. This is going to be a mess. The green shade is spread all over it. Maybe if I put like a base on my eyes and I didn't uh, because I thought you know, when I use cream eyeshadows, I never put a base on my eyes because they are cream, so they are supposed to be the base. First impression, first impression on um, this little guy here, not so good. The other thing that I didn't um, bought 
that I didn't buy because I had um, bought one time and I hadn't liked it was Primark Mascara. I don't have Primark Mascara but I have Primark False Lashes. For mascara I'm just going to use uh, my Kiko one. While mascara is drying I'm going to put just this pigment, it's not from Primark but I wanted to try because I thought that it would kind of um, be pretty to put just a little bit of this Wet n Wild pigment on top of this color just in the middle so now for lashes I'm just going to use this natural fuzz lashes so I'm just going to apply them and then I'll be right back so I'm back with the false lashes on I really think that this I should cut them because they're a little too big for my eye uh, but I kind of like it the look of it I hope you really guys can see it for lips as I have like this three um, pencils lip pencils then I'm going to give it a swatch for you this one it's called uh, rosewood mauve it's this color over here this is pompous this on top and this one it's called night tide uh, I'm going to take this is uh, rosewood mauve and I'm going to do my lips so this is the color of my lips this is the color of rosewood uh, mauve okay so this is the final look uh, what I loved about um, all of this that I bought. I love the foundation. It gives like this uh, natural look but with some coverage, not high coverage uh, but medium. Uh, it has like a semi matte finish uh, which I really really like. Uh, and I think they're pretty right because I didn't use I didn't use any primer whatsoever uh, And my pores are really uh, close if I had like to rate it um, Of 0 to 5 It probably would be a 5 about the concealer. I thought it was not going to be that good to be honest I wasn't kind of expecting much of this concealer. It covers really, really well. I wouldn't say it's high coverage, but kind of a medium high. I'm definitely gonna give this a four out of five. Oh, I thought that was going to crease, but it didn't, as you might see. And now about the uh, pressed powder. I love it. It doesn't give like uh, color. It doesn't add color to your foundation. I didn't have any pressed powder because the one I had broke. So this is going to be really good. I think I'm gonna give like um four out of five too. So now for the palettes and um about the contour. I uh, talked about it on my uh, last video, uh, but, and I really like it, it, I think it's really a good shade, so I'll definitely give a 5 out of 5. And the blush, uh, I already talked about on my other um, video, but I think um, for a 5, so about the two highlighters that I haven't tried, that I hadn't tried, Aiden and Glimmer. To be honest with you, I didn't like Aiden. I didn't like it, it adds just a little bit of color and um, glow to my skin, but it's not that pigmented. Uh, on the other hand, Glimmer here uh, but definitely give uh, me more uh, glow and I really like the, the, this one so for even I think it's like 2 out of 5 and um, Glimmer I'm just going to give um, maybe 3 out of 5 and then did the a thing that I thought that was going to be amazing 
this um, cream eyeshadow. I loved this color, you know, and I thought that it was going to be amazing, but <sighs> I don't know. It was the disaster that you saw. I have to give it a 2 out of um, 5 because the fact that it doesn't dry quick and it budge everywhere, the color itself is not going to save it. And uh, about the lashes, I really like the effect that these lashes gave me. It's not my favorite lashes, to be honest with you, but I think it does the job. Uh, done and I think I had to cut them because they're a little too big for my eyes but I'll give it like a 3 out of uh, 5 then last thing it's this uh, lip pencils they are my favorite lip liners that I have and that I own in my collection so definitely give them a 5 out of 5 so guys this was um, the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I really love making this uh, first impressions videos. I, I think, I don't know, uh, right now it's one of my favorite type of videos to, to film. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked this video. Subscribe down below if you didn't already. And I'm uh, hoping I'll see you on my next video. Bye!